It's Mike with Champion Cobra. Here's how you check the CFD and adjust the CFD on a Cobra 50. You're gonna need check stop pin, sprocket socket, gear stop, some snap ring pliers, and your torque wrench. Go ahead and grab your snap ring pliers and remove the front sprocket. Wiggle it off. A little shim that was sitting behind it. Now let's grab our check stop pin, our eight millimeter hex. Take out the fill plug on the side. And we're gonna put our check stop pin in there and you gotta feel around and get it to go through one of the holes on the CFD so that it stops the gears from turning. Now grab your sprocket socket and put your torque wrench together and set it to at least 80 foot pounds. Uh, everybody I know is doing 80 foot pounds, no more than 100 foot pounds. And I usually check it at 80, 90, 100 and see where it goes. And the sound that you're wanting to hear is this. If your torque wrench breaks between 80 and 100 foot pounds, you're good. And this bike is good. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to go ahead and show you how to adjust it. So let's say the clutch slipped. Now we're going to go ahead and drain the oil out of the bike. Get it all over the floor. I like to lay the bike on the side when I remove the clutch cover. You're going to need a five millimeter hex. and the gear stop, and some pliers, and a 19 millimeter socket. Let's go ahead and slide the cover off, wiggle it out. It's got two pins that'll hold the gasket on, inspect your gasket. That's your clutch, that's your CFD. Go ahead and grab your gear stop and slide it in there below your CFD and wiggle it until it stops the gears from moving. It's common to take a little wiggle and we are locked up, ready to go. Because our CFD was out, we're gonna pull the pin there's a little cotter pin holding the castle nut. You need to bend those out, bend them straight and pull that straight out of the top. This castle nut is a left-hand thread. To tighten it, you turn it left. That's very important. It's a left-hand thread. You're gonna turn it left to tighten it. So this is tightening it. And I usually go until the hole that the cotter pin goes through lines up to the next notch. Now we've moved our castle nut, we've tightened it. Uh, we need to come to the other side and check it again. We have our gear stop over there stopping the gears. Click. We're in. And now that we're in, we go back to the other side, new cotter pin. I only use cotter pins from Cobra. I've had them break before if you try to use a hardware store pin. Straight down, bend it in, in a U shape. Take your gear stop out. And we're gonna start putting the bike back together. Put the clutch cover on. Uh, it is 70 inch pounds. This is a different torque wrench. I'm setting it to inch pounds and I kind of tighten them in a star pattern. I go one across from the other and I go to the corners. And we're gonna fill it with 300 milliliters of clutch milk. If the bike's laying over on the side and you do this, some might come out of the overflow. If you see a little bit on the floor, uh, make sure it came out of the overflow and your gasket is not leaking. Uh, let's put our front sprocket and chain back on and we are done. Thanks for watching.